Welcome everyone to Transcendence by A.O. Zern. Now this is probably one of the most fantastical tracks I've ever played in all of Halo ever. Now this is a track I like to mostly describe as a heavenly water slide. It is so cool the way that it is designed in its looks, its gameplay, so let's get down into the specifics. This is made on parallax using the canvas that makes everything look nice and green and beautiful. It has tons of clouds around it, and inside of this racetrack you will find a collection of circular tubes that create the racetrack around you. Since each tube is the same size but has to turn, it will create a very blocky-like texture throughout it, which makes you think as if this entire place is made of gold blocks. The way he uses the theme makes you think you're going through some sort of like Egyptian golden block heaven. Now I don't think the Egyptians raced in heavens, and especially not in warthogs, but moving on to the warthog part of that thing, you are going to be racing in four wheels that are much bigger than the mongooses of usual. Now I'm not sure exactly why he chose this, I think it's because of the size of the blocks that he was using, but you drive around in warthogs and it is pretty much the same experience. If you're wondering if there's any difference, not really. It's about the same, even though you feel a little bit more torque in it. And on to the actual gameplay of the track. There is so many different features inside of this that just make it awesome. Inside of it, you'll obviously find the tubing and the way it's designed there, but throughout this track, he uses that to create a unique experience. You'll find a ton of wall riding in this, where the only place you can drive is on the wall as you turn. You'll have different speed boosts at even longer parts where you have to stay on the wall, and as you go along, you'll see that they'll actually change in size, so things will get smaller, larger, and these tubes will just change around, and the way he does this is just so innovative. He'll have half tubes, he'll have full tubes that make you feel like you're in the water slide, and as you go along, you'll see so many different things, the most impressive of which is a 360 degree barrel roll. Yes, inside of this, there is a barrel roll that will completely flip you 360 degrees through a tube. And this is not one of those uh, kind of works barrel rolls that we've seen in the past. This is fully working and almost never fails. It basically is just a tube that has a man cannon that pushes you along and you flip across the ceiling. You don't even have to try. All you have to do is turn after you get out of the barrel roll. It's so effortless that it makes it just seem so amazing when he basically does the same thing moving on. In this track, you basically feel like you are attached to the ceiling. You don't know where is up or down because since the circular pipes are circular all around, same radius all through, you will find that there's parts when you're wall riding and you've been doing it for so long you just feel like, hey, is this the ground? And then you get to a part right after the 360 degree barrel roll where you actually feel like you are just flipping onto the ceiling. You do something that I wouldn't consider 360 degrees again, but it's so strange the way that the next flip makes you feel like there's no gravity whatsoever. The way he uses these pipes is amazing, and the way he uses them to create unique gameplay situations is extremely innovative. On to the actual visuals of all this, I love the theme. As I said earlier, the idea of a Egyptian water slide or some sort of like heavenly water slide is exactly what I see when I play this. It's such a weird description, but it's exactly what I see and the entire track is just so fun to look at. All of it has, is very blocky looking, it reminds me of like gold and Egyptian jewelry and I just got back from X-Men Apocalypse so the Egyptian stuff is definitely on my mind. And all of it just shining so much, it's just so cool to look at. It's heavenly, it makes sense that it's called Transcendence, and I highly suggest downloading this for anyone who has not played it. This track is so much fun and probably is one of my favorite tracks in Halo 5 so far. I was playing through about 10 race tracks all at the same time and this one stuck out more than all the other ones I played. This is an amazing race track and I highly suggest it. So if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to comment below, like the video if you did, and let me know what your opinion is on X-Men Apocalypse. That's on my mind right now, and to be honest, that's what I want to know about from you guys. Did you think that god dude was frigging insane or not? And also, I love Quicksilver. He is freaking amazing. And when you start playing a song while he goes super fast, it's great. Anyway, I'm going to leave you guys with the Halo subject on instead of X-Men. So have a great day.